Good Thursday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on the September 18th of 2019. We have finally started to see some changes working in. Thunderstorm chances have picked up a little today, but they'll really kick up over the weekend and ultimately scrub out some of this heat and humidity. Let's start off with where we've been throughout the course of the day, though. On the September 19th, we have seen uh, probably sunny skies once again over Indigo Sky Casino and Resort just outside of Seneca, Missouri. And that's how most of us look throughout the course of the day. And it was those same skies that we've seen yet today and for much of this week that resulted in highs in the lower 90s. 92, when normally we should be at 81 today. Thankfully, though, our cool down on the way begins tomorrow. We're anticipating highs around 80, 81 degrees. So definitely back closer to where we should be for this time of the year. Actually, today, again, with increasing moisture from the tropics, we did see some more uh, random thunderstorms popping up, mainly in southwestern parts of Missouri. We even had a few ones around Grand Lake and trying to clip uh, areas along 69 like Frontenac, Minden Mines, Arma, and up to about Fort Scott and Uniontown. Now, though, those storms have long faded away. We're staying calm for the rest of the night on the Skywatch Storm Tracker. Just before the 10 o'clock hour at 7th the Range Line, skies quiet, partly cloudy, no rain to worry about for the rest of the night. And again, the official numbers. It will be nice to see that rain uh, result in a cooler day in Joplin where we hit a high of 92 after we started at 71. Keep in mind, we should be starting at 58 and topping out around 81 at this point in the month of September. Let's see, 79 at last check, feeling like 81 still. With the dew point sitting in the upper 60s, everybody topped out around 90, if not into the lower 90s today. The last check of temperatures we had showing everybody cooling back. Still kind of warm, though, middle to upper 70s. But a few spells like Fredonia and Chnew still trying to hold on to temperatures around 80. Eventually, though, we will see everybody drop back to about 70 tonight. The skies stay quiet and partly cloudy. And before we see any thunderstorm chances try to pick back up tomorrow, we'll see if we can get things to warm up. Maybe around 77 by noon. But we have seen a slight uptick in the cloud cover and thunderstorms today, not just in our area, but across a good portion of the central plains and parts of the Midwest because of increasing moisture from west left of tropical depression in Melda still churning over Texas. That's continuing to bring in Gulf moisture. On top of that, at the gesturing level, we finally have this upper level ridge beginning to break apart. Now we're starting to see this vigorous upper low in the Pacific Northwest finally decide to push this cold front our way. As it does and it interacts with the moisture that will happen place for the weekend, that is what will drive up our rain chances and ultimately scrub out the heat and humidity. For the rest of the night, though, we stay quiet, partly cloudy skies, lows dropping back to about 70 degrees in many spots. Then the morning starts quiet on Friday, but as soon as we get the afternoon underway, clouds will begin to uptick, and then that's when we'll see at least a better shot for scattered thunderstorms as we go into Friday. Before we can get any rain going, I do anticipate a warm day. I'm anticipating highs going to 81 after we start at 70, and then we start the afternoon at about 77 degrees. Kind of a breezy day, too, with a southeast breeze at 5 to 15, with gusts pushing 20 at times. There could be some thunderstorms still around by the time we get the Friday night game started, but I do anticipate getting the games in because we'll be drying out as soon as we get into the rest of Friday night. Then we'll hold on to thunderstorm chances, not only as we go into Saturday as that main upper wave kicks in, but also that cold front too. And this sticks around for Sunday, so we'll hold on to thunderstorm chances for your Sunday. A brief break in the action on Monday as that first wave moves out. Then we'll see another wave kick in from the western U.S. and kick up our thunderstorm chances again as we head into the middle of next week. Regarding rain chances, we'll focus primarily from Friday all the way until we get a chance to dry out on Monday. So for a good portion of the weekend, we could see one to two, if not some areas pushing three inches of rain. So we'll have to keep an eye on this and see if we can spread things out. Otherwise, we may have to deal with some flash flooding issues. But that's something we'll definitely keep an eye on as we get the weekend underway, our last weekend of the summer season before fall begins on Monday. But it's nice to see temperatures looking a lot better. 81 tomorrow, 83 Saturday, 81 on Sunday quiet for your Monday with partly sunny skies, highs around 82, then 77 Tuesday, then 80s for the rest of the middle of next week with thunderstorm chances back in here by next Tuesday. Have a good night. Have a great Friday.